Full air suspension is the, the ultimate dream, front and rear. This is a very special beer for a very special bloke. My name is Johar from Goldfield Off Road and we'll be installing um, full airbag suspension on this um, lovely Defender, so let's get cracking. We can't thank you enough, you're an absolute legend. Welcome to Grizzly and Bear Overland with Lee and Steffi in Western Australia. The biggest modification to take place to our Land Rover Defender since the initial build all those years ago. I'm, <laughs> I can't even express how excited I am right now. Here we go, we've got 666 kilometer to Kalgoorlie where we're gonna do the install. Yesterday we were at the Paris 4x4 show, it was an insane weekend. We were pretty exhausted straight on to the next adventure. I'm a little bit nervous to be honest with you, like it's um, what we're about to get done is a huge transformation and I, will, I won't go into it right now because I'm driving but I'll explain in detail. Plenty of room on your right because it's slower. Yeah, it's got a bit more to your right, eh? Right, uh, out you go. Yeah. Come away. Quarter to eight and we are still um, about 100 kilometers away from Kalgoorlie. Servo food for dinner. We're gonna camp 30 kilometers out of Kalgoorlie. It's all too exciting. I had to have a little sneaky peek. Happy that uh, <laughs> I didn't attempt to do this myself. Handbrake, they've got... Oh, wow. We spent the night at a free rest area. Up the next morning, bright and early. Today's the big day, we're about uh, 30 kilometers, I think, out of Kalgoorlie. Headed to a place we've been before, actually, to see our friends at Goldfields Off-Road. We just arrived and we're gonna remove the camper. This is not normal weather. What's going on, Kalgoorlie? It's always great to be able to remove our camper whenever we need to do some work on the car. Hello Mr. Johar, how are you brother? Very good, how are you? We heard a rumour that it's your favourite beer. It is. Alright brother, there you go. Thank uh, you so much. But you're not allowed to have one because it's only 7 o'clock in the morning. A full air suspension kit from Airbag Man came into three boxes with a list of all the components, a manual and a very comprehensive fitting instruction. Introducing a new suspension system. These are the rear airbags. Airbag Man use Firestone airbags. Probably the best airbags in the world. Pretty impressed with this little compressor because it's got its own suspension system. Looking at all of this electrical gives me anxiety and this is why we came to the professionals at Goldfields Off-Road because I would have buggered this up for sure. And he said, I tell you what, I will send you five airbags. Yeah. You can carry one as a spare until you trust my equipment. I said, okay, if you guarantee your equipment, let's go. I said to Ben, look, I'm a little bit concerned. What is your personal opinion? You guys don't know, Ben uh, Ben is up in Carnarvon at the moment. G'day Ben and thank you. So Ben started um, Goldfields Off-Road and he's an expert and a Land Rover man, so I trust his opinion more than others. He convinced me, I asked him his honest opinion. I said, Ben, what do you think? Airbag man have been nice enough, generous enough to offer us this system. Do you think it's suitable for what we do, for our journey? And he said, mate, if you have been offered a full air suspension, get it in there. Your name, sorry? Royal. Royal? Yeah. My name is Lee. Very nice to meet you, and thank you for helping out. Nice. More than helping, he's doing everything. Stephanie just made a very good observation, as she always does. She's a clever little Frenchie, this one. The shock absorber is located inside the front coil spring. We're gonna have airbags there, completely removing the front coil spring. The shock absorber needs to be relocated. It's got a relocation bracket. So it actually just moves the, uh, at the bottom and the top, moves the um, front shock absorber to a new location.
The kit includes also a compressed air tank. Uh, this one will be purely dedicated to the air suspension system. A computer and a remote control. George is saying, yes, nothing better than air suspension. Handling, absorbing bumps, battery corrugation, weight. I am super impressed with the engineering from the guys at Airbag Man. For these exterior brackets, the ones that relocate the shock absorber, they've utilized existing bolts. One is to the, the bolt that holds the front radius arm, and the other end of that bracket goes to one of the bolts that holds the panhard rod. That's very tight. At least now, when it is time to replace the shock absorbers, it's easy. It's way easier. Well, we now have the front airbag installed. No pressure in it at the moment, and the guys have now moved onto the rear. We already have removed the retention straps, and I tell you what, I'm not sorry to see those things go. <laughs> From what Ben told us, he said the suspension swap out itself is, you know, it's a big job, but it's not that technical. This stuff that Johar's doing here behind us now is the ride height sensors. So this Intel ride system that we're having installed, it's incredible. So it's all like push button type self leveling, and that needs to have sensors to keep that ride height perfect. And that's what Johar is over there putting together. Johar's extending a couple of the lines here because we've decided to relocate the compressor and the air tank to the rear of the ute rather than under the chassis. So these are the ride height sensors in the rear at some stage, not straight away. Uh, we'll make up front and rear some sort of aluminium deflector or guard, just something simple just to sort of protect that. This is the sensor at the front. We've got wires going to the handbrake, wires going to the speedometer line, and another one to the ignition. Wow. So yeah, we've got wires going everywhere. So there's a lot going on right now. We've got three boys uh, working on this car, and they are just amazing. They're getting after it everywhere. I'm just trying to help out where I can, not get in the way, and pay attention to what's going on. Beautiful. Looks like a nitrous bottle. <laughs> yeah. Johar's explaining to me as we're installing the 4 litre compressed air tank that there's only one inlet and sort of outlet. Works like an accumulator. The air pressure, it'll pump up, fill up the uh, compressed air tank, and then the computer uses that compressed air in and out. And it's also got a pressure relief valve on it. It's very, very clever. Pizza delivery after hour. Those guys are staying. All of these absolute legends yeah. are staying back to uh, try and smash this vehicle out in one day. It's a huge job. Usually what this job will take three to four days. It's very busy at the moment and the guy is squishing it. The whole job in one day. We're nearly there. I just wanted to talk about something. We're going full air suspension system here. It's, uh, yes, it's going to be run by a computer and a compressor. So let's answer a quick question here. What if that fails? What if we lose our compressor? What if we lose that computer? Do we lose our suspension system? No, we don't, because what Johar's doing over here behind me, and which is a fantastic idea from Airbag Man, the line completely um, has T-pieces in it with individual inflation lines. We've got our backup compressor, we've still got the ARB twin cylinder. So, in the very unlikely circumstance where we did lose the suspension compressor or the computer went down, we can individually inflate the airbags to get ourselves out of trouble or to the correct ride height and that would be uh, no problem at all. This is it, the initial test. We've got 20 PSI. Jaha's going around individually on the T-pieces that we've got here, which are actually the, the backups. 
and he's just putting 20 psi in all four of the bags, which is the minimum pressure. Wow, that's a good height of it. So that's pretty exciting. Yeah, like if yeah. you need to pour some oil in your engine bay, you can put the function to nice. load in. Yeah. It's nearly 9.30. Unbelievable. Everything's back together. It was an insane amount of wiring. Now it's a matter of setting up all of the right sensors. Uh, at the moment it looks like a hot rod because <laughs> the rear is lifted and the front is still down. Day number two and we're fine tuning the ride height sensors. Did you have a good sleep? I did actually, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> It's pretty cool doing this, being involved, and if anything happens to these ride height sensors, then uh, we need to know how to adjust them. Oh, I'm nervous, I won't lie. So I'm in ride height mode right now, and I can already feel it <laughs> so much smoother. You get, I, can't, well, I can't feel anything. And there's been a few little bumps and and I'm feeling only smoothness. Initial test drive, so I'm not gonna get too excited now. I've got a bloody roadworks of course, so. Oh my god. We're floating on air, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I mean we're moving, but there's just none of that that I'm looking for potholes. That's a pothole. I, we just went through then and I feel nothing, there's no, before we'd have a clunk and a bang and a, and now we've got bumps and corrugations and I mean we're moving. The impact's not there anymore on the chassis. It's unbelievable. <laughs> we've got the three ride heights, which is parking. That height you do not drive on, maybe 10 meters, that's to get into a car park. Perfect for us for a sea container. What I'm going to do now is press uh, off-road height, which should lift the vehicle five centimeters or two inches. Uh, let's see what happens. It's all working. Amazing. My brother. <laughs> you are That's a legend. Good. We went looking for some rough roads and a few corrugations. Not too crazy. We took it very slowly, just on ride height. Yep. And now, you know, it's not magic, but now all of the impact is gone. It's just it's most like you're floating on air. Yep. This uh, air suspension system, by being such a soft uh, cushioning effect on the rest of the car, reduces other damage and maintenance issues, then I call it a successful job just for that, let alone the comfort. It's already the end of the afternoon on day two, and we're putting the camper back onto the Defender. I'm Red Horse, and I haven't tasted one of these for nearly 12 years, so it's pretty good, thank you. Cheers. <laughs> thank you for your work. One photo with all the team at Goldfield Off-Road, just before we start heading back to Perth. We hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for next week as we hit the beach to test this new air suspension. We will also chat with Jacob and Benny from Airbag Man. You will definitely be interested in what they've got to say. In position, you can put the GoPro on and don't forget the dash cam. A massive thank you to Airbag Man and to the team at Goldfield Off-Road. A huge thank you to all our patrons on Patreon for their amazing support and for keeping this show on the road. See you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.